American company BlackRock Inc. is set to acquire Japan's largest e-manga site in a $1.7 billion deal. Now you may hear Blackstone and think of BlackRock, the company that has brought ESG and DI to some of your favorite franchises. And you wouldn't be wrong, Blackstone is the parent company of BlackRock, and both companies share similar ideologies. One operates more domestic, while the other is more international. To be honest, I'm not fully up to date on the DEI and ESG controversy, but from what I understand, I don't see how it will affect manga and anime. If my perspective is wrong, please let me know. Everything I know about ESG and DEI is already present in anime and manga. There are gay, trans, female leads, and everything you can think of. To say that this will change anime and manga seems a bit off. Anime and manga have been evolving for a long time. Look at a show from the 80s and compare it to one from today. They're quite different. Now, I do find it concerning that a company like Blackstone will have access to manga, even though the company they are purchasing primarily deals in the female demographic, but they're already talking about expanding their market. The article brings up a statement from Bloomberg that says Blackstone's move is a shrewd investment recognizing the untapped potential of Japanese soft power empire. For those of you that have been around anime for a long time, this isn't new. Four Kids is probably the earliest example I can remember, coupled with Sony's acquisitions of Funimation, Right Stuff, and Crunchyroll. It's clear that big business now wants to carve out their piece of the anime pie. With anime growing more popular, this was inevitably going to happen. My hope is that anime doesn't get ruined as a whole with actual mangaka in Japanese government and efforts to preserve their culture in anime. We can only hope for the best as these acquisitions move forward.